Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tell when your heat sealing iron is set to the correct temperature and what it looks like when it's not hot enough or you move it too quickly over the fabric. Don't rely on a thermometer or the numbers on your iron's dial to set the temperature. The only way to be sure you're welding the fabric pieces together is to try these tests yourself. Let's start with the lightweight fabrics used in the ultralight DIY packraft kits. The yellow fabric is used to make the packraft's tubes, and it's coated with heat sealable TPU on one side. And the black fabric is used to make the packraft's floor, and it's coated on both sides. When ironing the two fabrics together, you can see how the yellow fabric darkens a bit. I use a silicone roller or a rag to work out most of the bubbles and press the fabric pieces together as they cool. When the iron's temperature is set correctly, you can get a good weld without having to iron for so long that it melts the TPU on the bottom of the floor fabric. These thinner fabrics cool pretty quickly, but with all the fabrics, make sure they're cool to the touch before pulling them apart to check your welds. This is a decent weld, especially in the middle. You can see that the TPU from both fabrics has welded together to form a single cohesive layer that peels away from the woven fabric in patches. I probably should have ironed it a little bit longer on the sides. If we iron two of the ultralight tube pieces together, when we pull them apart it should look like this, with the TPU coming off in patches from both sides. If the iron isn't hot enough, or if you move it too quickly over the fabric, when you force the fabric layers apart, you can feel that the bond isn't as strong, and you can see that the TPU layers haven't fused together. The TPU might turn kind of whitish as you force the layers apart, but it's not ripping away from the woven fabric. This is no good. Now let's try two pieces of the standard DIY Packraft tube fabric. These are both coated on one side with TPU, and they are what the tubes and seam strips are made from in the non-ultralight DIY Packraft kits. In general, you can use the same temperature setting for the ultralight and heavier fabrics. It just takes a bit longer to seal the thicker fabrics because the heat has to conduct farther, and there's a thicker layer of TPU to heat up. Forcing these pieces apart, we see a good weld, with TPU coming off in patches from both sides. In contrast, here are two pieces of tube fabric that look like they're welded together, but when we pull them apart, the TPU layers clearly haven't fused together. The iron was much too cold for this one. Next, let's try sealing a piece of standard weight tube fabric to the heaviest floor fabric. Here it looks like the temperature was okay because the TPU layers did fuse together in the middle area, but I didn't iron it long enough on the sides because the TPU layers peeled apart there. Let's try it again.
This one is much better. The TPU layers have fused together. Here's an example where the iron was too cool. Only a tiny patch of TPU fused together, and the rest was only weakly bonded. None of my irons will get hot enough to be considered too hot, so I can't show you what that looks like. But if you start to see the TPU layers liquefying, or the woven fabric starts melting, then definitely turn down the temperature. Once you've got the iron's temperature set correctly, practice on scraps of fabric until you have a good feel for how long it takes to get a good weld, and only then should you start assembling your packraft. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.